Hi everybody, it's Cory at The Reset Girl. It is time to do a plan with me video. Uh, about six months since I've done one, so I figured it's time. I have all of my materials laid out that I thought I might possibly use. I have my pumpkin chai spiced latte. I think that's what it's called from Trader Joe's. It is quite rainy outside um, right now at the moment. I feel bad for all the kids who are going to go trick-or-treating in a short while. Sorry if I'm sipping very loudly. I have a mic <laughs> right at my collar, so I'm sure that sounds super obnoxious. But um, I hope that you are ready to spend some time with me because I am sure this is going to be a long video. So why don't you put this on pause and grab yourself a beverage so we can sit here together and explore how we're going to set this up. I have been kind of breaking from the past and kind of working out my own planning system. And I feel like I have found something that works for me. I tried using so many different planners. You girls have seen, if you've been following me for any length of time, you've seen me use quite a few different planners out there. So, uh, I, I've kind of, I feel like I've explored a lot of the different formats, whether it was a weekly, it was a daily, it was a traveler's notebook, it was a ring bound or a coil bound. And what I have kind of figured out for myself is I, I have a planner that has a calendar and then I have five different A5 planners that do not have calendars. So I have what I call a boss planner that sort of bosses all of these planners around. Um, and I have like a team of these. So every one of my little A5 planners, they all have a specific job. They do something very specific. This is what I call my self-care reset your life planner. So I have um, sections in here that are set up to help me with self-care resetting my life goals. And I'm going to show you, I picked it out because today is also uh, the 31st. It is a day that I've just posted the new November TRG self-care challenge. So I kind of wanted to show you how I have my printable set up in here and in here. So this is a letter size Martha Stewart disc bound. Uh, I think she calls it a planner, a disc bound planner. It is available only at Staples. You can purchase it online at staples.com. She brought it back uh, out of the goodness of her heart, I'm sure. Uh, you have this size, and then there is like the junior size. And junior size is a little smaller than an A5 size, but it's similar. So you can see, just if I'm kind of lining them up, you can see the difference. So A5, although it is larger than a personal, it is it is more portable in some ways than this, but like mine's pretty chunky. It's kind of a chunky planner now. So I don't tend to carry this one around, but I would carry this one. It fits into most of my, you know, my floral bag that I carry all the time. So this is kind of my, my main master planner. And I'm going to show you how I'm setting up my November pages in here which are part of the TRG planner insert line that I have developed months ago and I'm still uh, still in um, pre-launch mode right now at this time. So what I love about the Disbound planner and I it grew on me I have to say it didn't it wasn't love at first sight. Uh, it, it is the fact that it is so customizable. So that's one thing I love about it. It's very similar to the ring bound planner in that way that you can add things to it. I think these make a lovely team. I love having extra space in the letter size for planning. So I had, this is kind of my dashboard. I had this set up um, for October. These are the little journal cards that came in the So Cozy kit. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna strip these off and I attached them with washi. October was kind of a weird month for me. Uh, I, I feel like I did not really plan um, much. I didn't feel like I was very proactive. I felt like I was more reactive. So I really wasn't in my planner because I was so busy doing other things. So um, this, is, this is kind of like 
starting over with a fresh, fresh new uh, planning system for the month. I'm going to show you really briefly how I have my previous so month set up. So here it was August. So, and you can see like when I first punched it, I punched it too shallow. <laughs> so it, it never really like stuck in there, but uh, I made it work. So this is me using all my little stickers and my sticky notes. I, some months, some weeks I'm really good about filling it out and some I'm not. But I uh, just wanted to show you what I had going for a previous month and how I've used it in the past. Um, this was my October, so I can show you, like, I had all good intentions. I put, even put washi on the pages to make them pretty on the edges. So this is my um, month on one page layout, and then I have my weekly spread, and I, I had put, you know, used little stickers, and then I, I just didn't plan anything because all I did was spend time building kits for workshops, and I was just working, working, working so at, um, at such a frenetic pace that it was kind of like I felt like I wasn't planning ahead. I was more like reacting to what was in front of me, which I feel like happens a lot, and I'm not even suggesting that's a good thing. It just has kind of become something I notice as a pattern from time to time. Uh, so I put, I printed off enough pages to give me November and December. So I'm going to, in the last final months of the year, I'm going to try to be very mindful <laughs> of how I am utilizing my time for the rest of this year. Some of the things I've been focusing on are more about business related things which I probably haven't been doing very well. So part of this planner, its purpose is, it's like a social media um, strategy workbook. So I've put different like eBooks, workbooks in here. I have like cheat sheets and all kinds of stuff that kind of help me with business. So it's just been a little calendar and then worksheets in here. And that's what I call my, my master planner. That's its only role. I would say that this has probably been, believe it or not, the most successful um, that I've been at planning, I guess, in terms of being planning and actually doing the things that I'm saying I'm doing. I feel like for a long time I was just sticking things in my planner, but I wasn't actually accomplishing them. I was just doing it because it seemed like I was going to accomplish them. It, it looked, it made my pages look very full. It made me look very busy. I had good intentions to do those things, but it just did not um, come to fruition. So I think that it's been kind of a journey for me to figure out how to utilize my time more effectively and to work in what I call like little blocks of time. And that process is what led me to kind of creating these planning sheets the way they are designed. So just to show you, the original version of these is actually the A5 version. So you can see them side by side. Isn't they so cute? It's like the little baby and the mama. So this is the A5 size version. This is the um, planning inserts that I'm launching with and probably going to include letter size too. So this is, here we have like a month on two pages, and here we have a month on two pages. So you can see it's like, it's the same thing, it's just larger. So here we go with the monthly goals page. So here on this page, it's designed that I have my goals for the month that are home related, work related, health related, and then picking a habit. What new habit do I wanna to try to develop? What is that habit? And then what, how will I reward myself if I achieve this habit? This is something <laughs> that I think all of us struggle with. Habits are very hard to build. And I have been reading books about habit building in, in an attempt to understand like the psychology behind habits and why they are effective when you actually establish one. So when I first made this planner, I was, it was back in September and my goal then was a no spend September. 
So the no spend has really been something I think a lot of us try to achieve. It's something that I want to work on again for November. So um, that might be something I put here as my new habit. But these are all just like little, little goals um, for me. You know, a lot of us for health related goals, most of us would say drink more water, go for a 10 minute walk. Uh, maybe you want to achieve 10,000 steps a day. Everyone has different goals for their health. Uh, maybe it's drink less coffee. Um, if you're a smoker, it's cutting down your cigarette breaks, um, those kinds of things. So work-related goals, what type of goals are you looking at? Do you want to ask for a raise next year? Are you looking for a promotion? Do you want to look for another job? Do you want to like become more effective with your time? Those are types of things that I think of in in for, for in general, what people might consider a goal that's work-related. For me, I want to kind of master some aspects of business that I have not ever really had to do before. <laughs> uh, as many of you know, uh, becoming this, this journey of becoming a business owner has not been easy. In many ways, it seems like, oh, it's the American dream. It's, you know, becoming an entrepreneur, everyone is doing it, it's so trendy. The truth is it takes a certain, I have discovered, it takes a certain kind of person to be successful at running a business. I have many weaknesses that I was not even aware of um, until I have been in this position. So it has been a struggle rather than something I feel like I'm really great at. So I have determined that I was going to start setting goals for myself in terms of like mastering certain aspects of business. Social media, which is a really important part of business because it's how you, you know, it's how you share your brand. It's how people interact with you. That's been something that I don't honestly really don't know very well. There's a lot like platforms that believe it or not, like I don't understand Facebook very well. That's a newer platform for me. So these were things that I wanted to incorporate into my daily life. And that meant like, if that, if that meant like an hour a day, I would spend looking, you know, going through my free workbook that I printed out, um, spending time on my Pinterest boards for, that I have for business, um, taking a workshop, you know, that I've, I've probably purchased a few workshops, you know, is it, is it spending an hour every day going through classes or lessons? Those are the type of goals that I would have in mind for work for myself. And then home, I've actually achieved quite a few of the goals that we had for the, the home. But the one that is still not really kind of stuck is establishing like a cleaning routine. So uh, my husband and I have been really, we had been really good. We established a little cleaning routine and then we were really good at it. And then it all fell apart as it tends to do when uh, our schedule changed, our work life changed because we left the house for a short time for traveling. And when we came back, we just never picked up the habit again. So that would be something cooking more, um, planning out my meals better, doing food prep on Sunday. Those are some of my home goals. So this is what I would fill out for the, the month ahead. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something to brighten up the little page. The little circles here, um, I developed these so that you could actually put like little reward <laughs> stickers there for yourself, like you're a little kid again. And in the Planner Girl kit, which I have created for the Carpe Diem Planner, the page in the Carpe Diem Planner, the beginning of every month in the monthly dividers, there is one of these uh, goal trackers. And I created that because I really want people to have the opportunity to set a habit for themselves. So I thought if I'm you know, using that for the Carpe Diem, I could use that here. So as an example, these the type of stickers, these were intentionally designed for the Carpe Diem's uh, page but you have like thumbs up, like, I yay, I did it, or high five, slap it high. And then we have the little embarrassed face emoji, <laughs> which we can all agree is like, oh man, <laughs> fail. And then we have the little um, thumbs down. So we have check marks, um, those kinds of things, and then the little doodads that I love so much that are part of my branding. Um, so those were the type of stickers I had in mind were like re to reward yourself. 
You could also, and this is what I've done as well, is, let's see, today is the 31st. I think there's 31 on here. So as an example, if tomorrow, whatever my habit is, I do an awesome job. Let's say it's I need to drink uh, 64 ounces of water and I completely did that, I might give myself a little happy face. It could be as simple as that. Um, any little habit tracker is, is about simplicity and whatever is faster. So it might be a sticker for you and it might be just drawing a little yay or a check box, you know, just checking it off. I did it. And then I have my whole month here. So I'm going to put in the, the month of November here. It's undated. I love this. I had been using this size for a while and then I've upgraded to this. Actually, that's not true. I went from the A5 and then I upgraded to a, a month on one page and these boxes still felt really small to me. So this is a lot of real estate. So I wanted to get my little sticker set up on this page, um, what my month looks like, get all the little numbered stickers in there. And then at the back of the monthly section, I have what I call the monthly wrap up. Favorite memories, photos, accomplishments, notes. So these are like little sections that you could um, write in here of, you know, you, the things that you want to highlight. Maybe it, you want to put a photo. Uh, you could sketch, doodle, write, draw, put stickers, pictures, anything you wanted to in here. It's just a way of like creating a, a cute little layout of just highlights of your month and what kinds of things happened. And then I put this, uh, what I call, I kind of made it more... Uh, compartmentalized, which is probably not how you do a brain dump, but I made myself kind of a brain dump sheet where I could write anything I wanted about our shop, anything I wanted about my Faithful Girl uh, initiative, uh, theresetgirl.com, which is my website, my blog, and then the workshops I have planned. So I kind of, I printed this, which is not, was not part of the original series of inserts but I printed that so it would be part of this one. And then here is my ah, week on two pages. So it is, it's an unusual layout, but I have to tell you, this has worked so beautifully for me, I can't even stand it. So one of the things that I have come to realize in when it comes to planning is probably like a, a lot of women, uh, I love planners. I love the ideas of planners. I love the idea of being organized, but I'm kind of bad at planning <laughs> uh, certain aspects of my life. So one of the things that I kind of had an epiphany about was I'm a lister and I love making a list to do uh, the, the things I have to do this week. It always starts with a list. So finally I realized, like, why fight that? Why not just start with the list part of your planning and get that out of the way and then kind of decide where you're going to lay all those little assignments and tasks out over the course of the week. So when it comes to this um, taking care of my business um, insert, I actually start on this side of the page. And I have it broken down into the categories that are pertinent, I would say, to a lot of people who might have more control over their lives, who are like bloggers, business owners, uh, creative entrepreneurs, that, those type of people where you're kind of setting your own schedule for the most part and have more flexibility and is more like work related. Um, so that's how this part came to be. So in the course of the week, these are the categories of things that I do over and over and over again. So starting up at the top, I have the top priorities for the week, which I only gave myself three slots for because I figured at the very most that would be like the very most you could handle in one week, at least I could. And oftentimes I might, you know, I might only put one priority for the week. Sometimes that's just how it ends up. Over here, I have personal projects. So although the majority of the time during the week is dedicated to my business or, you know, work-related tasks, there are some personal things that kind of encroach on that workday 
And so I just want to make sure that I am making, making myself aware of that because time is time. You only get so much of it. So you have to chop it up a certain way. And I want to make sure that I'm aware that like I have personal and a personal project might be something like, um, so I might try to get like, uh, let me think what would be a personal project. If I was doing something for the house and I had to spend time during the day painting, like we have a, we bought a bunch of paint to paint some of the Goodwill furniture <laughs> that I have in the garage. To me, that's a personal project. It's not really related to business or anything like that. So, but it'd be something I'd have to do during the day. I'd have to keep, you know, we would have, we would have to spend time running out there, putting layers on and while in between coats drying, we would come back in and work. So to me, that's a personal project. I don't put many personal projects down, but just in case there was a place for it. And then we have the call email text section, which I love because it allows me to see all of like the most important returning calls, uh, you know, getting back to someone's text message or an email. Some of them are time sensitive and I have to do it. So those are, that's the most of the time are like the most urgent, crucial ones that have to be responded to because it's um, time sensitive. Um, that's generally why I will take the time to write it down. So I do not forget because sometimes I might not have an answer and I have to go do research, but I don't want to forget about it. So that's why it goes here. And then I have my social media tasks. So anything related to Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope. Uh, so if I'm planning something like I'm going to do a launch, like I created, for instance, like a new club, the happy place club on Facebook and, uh, part of what that club does is we're doing the TRG self-care challenge. So today I had to get that, um, posted on my blog. I had to post about the challenge on Instagram and on all my Facebook groups. I had to send out a newsletter. So that is a lot of, you know, individual tasks. So that would have been something that, you know, I could have written down, like, this is what you have to do this week. You have to get that, this one little, um, challenge ends up, you know, that took about three hours to get all of that accomplished. So that would have been a line item that would have been like very much like that's a time heavy um, task. It's not as simple to do. Uh, same thing with YouTube. I'm making this video. So this is a chunk of time that you film it. You have to set up, film it, and then you have to edit it and then upload it. So that's like another time. So when I see these kinds of things, these are not simple, quick little tasks. These are things that I'm going to have to spend time doing. So I want to like plan that out for the week. What is the best time to do, um, projects like this? And can I combine them? If I had a bunch of phone calls or a bunch of emails to do, can I just spend one hour just checking off email after email and just bust them out all at once? And that's why I am putting these like items together so I can see all of my tasks, all of my phone calls. And that way I can plan throughout the week um, the best way of achieving, like getting all of those done. So tasks, obviously, that those could be tasks that I'm doing around here, um, errands that I have to run, those kinds of things. And then I have website, shop, and blog. So these are definitely like a product launch, like the Lister's Got a List kits, the Crafty Girl Play kit. These are things that would take a lot of time, like designing the next kit, ordering the products, planning all of that, and then having to write all the copy for everything. These are, those are all things I would write down here and then have to plan, you know, accordingly. When is the time, of, oops, when is the time of the month that I would, you know, do that launch and I would make a note of it here and then plan like which days do I start breaking down the tasks for that particular project. Self-care. Um, I would say self-care tends for me tends to be like different appointments. Maybe I might get my hair cut. Um, I get my, I get my little nails done because I get the gel manicures, which I <laughs> sorely need. I hate coming and doing videos when my nails start getting chippy. Uh, but that, those would be self-care, uh, tasks that I would assign myself if I planned a walking date with someone, which I always say I'm going to do. And then, um, 
now it's starting to rain outside all the time, so <laughs> now it's like even less likely that I would do it, but um, those are the kinds of things I would put here in the self-care area. I have been flirting with going and signing up at this ladies' gym that's in my area that I really love. I actually was a member before, so I'm really close to pulling the trigger, and so that would be something I would say is I'd start putting down like classes and stuff that I wanted to take. So this is where I start by laying out all the stuff I know has to happen this week. And then once I have it all written out, then I start assigning it a day. If I make a doctor's appointment or um, I make a hair appointment, I will write it directly down on the day that I've made the appointment. I don't generally bother putting it over here. Uh, that's the only difference. If I have a date time specific event that I agree to, I write it directly into the day. So um, I try to do this at the beginning of the week so that I can plan the rest of my week accordingly. So I start assigning myself, what's, what's my week going to look like? So in this version of the, of the inserts, this round, I actually went and pre-typed some tasks or appointments that I am going to start keeping consistently. And rather than write them over and over again, I just decided that I would just... Um, type it in before I printed it. So I made myself like a God time appointment every day with a checkbox to say, I have done it. You also might notice that I have a hashtag for each day. So as part of my social media um, goals, my plans for myself, I'm trying to like, in some cases I've used really popular hashtags like Motivation Monday is a, a really popular one. So I just figured that's a good one to just kind of plan my social media day around and I would make sure to post something motivational. That would be my theme for the day if I, you know, posted something on Instagram or Facebook is, is to be mindful of like, it's Motivation Monday. So what can I talk about that's motivating? Tuesday is Tip Tuesday in the social media world. <laughs> so um, I have done that for a long time is put tips down. So I just, I'm keeping with that theme today would be that this day would be a day I might post um, an organizational tip, um, a tip where I like to buy something that I really you know love and think is awesome. I also have video, VF for video filming. So this might be a day to do a video. I was kind of like trying to plan out my week. I need it to film at least twice a week going forward because it's filming is, has been something that I really love doing. It's just something I haven't been doing. So I'm trying to be more consistent. So I made myself a check mark that says you need to film. So if I was filming, I might say, you know, I'm just gonna stick with Tip Tuesday. I'll just do a quick little 10 minute video and actually be able to get that up in the same day. Um, Wednesday is Workspace Wednesday. That's probably my favorite one ever. And ever since I got both my rooms clean, like my craft studio in here and my office next door, then I'm like, I want to show everybody <laughs> my clean room. So Workspace Wednesday. And plus it helps me keep everything like tidy and neat because I want, want to keep showing little aspects of my workspaces. So that's kind of a, a way of keeping accountable too. So it's, to me, it's really fun. I try to post in my groups you know, pictures or, you know, show me your workspace. And that's fun. People get a chance to share their cute little desk spaces and, and their little creative um, spaces in the in their home. So uh, I have a video upload task here. So I figured if I filmed here and it was a longer video, I could upload it the next day. So that was my planning it out. This little D here on, on the bottom of each day is D for dinner. So if I actually wanted to plan that and keep it in this planner, I could. Uh, Thursday is the Reset Thursday. So for a long time, I've just been going with the Throwback Thursday theme. And I can always default to that. But I figured, like, I really want to start talking a lot more about the Reset Girl. Because people hear that name and a lot of people do not know what that means. Um, and, and that's totally fair because I don't always talk about it. And the, the thing is, is that that's really what, <laughs> that's really my heart. That's really what I ever wanted to do years ago when I was going through um, that big change in my life and made some serious changes because I set goals for myself and I actually achieved them. So I want to really make that a part of what 
I talk about. And so I really want to be mindful of that. I want to become more consistent. Like that might be a blog post. You know, on Thursdays, I post my reset reminder to people. So I put that there as an intentional um, reminder to myself that this is what you need to start doing. And then Faithful Girl Friday is another reminder. Faith is a really important component of who I am. And again, it's another aspect that I haven't talked about as much as I feel I would <laughs> or should. Um, the other thing here is a new initiative that I have not launched yet, but plan to, and it's the Reset Girl Jammy Club. So that is going to be more information is going to be coming about that one. But I wanted to put it there to remind myself every week. I have to keep looking at these. They're all in here over and over again. So that will keep looking at me in the face. Get this launched. So it has everything to do with YouTube and something fun I thought we could. I could do on a Friday night is, you know, have a fun video where it's like we craft together in our jammies, wine or a fun, like warm beverage and us being in our jammies and crafting together. And I just thought that would be a lot of fun. So that's something I have on my agenda and I just showed it to you. So now I'm accountable. Uh, and then again, I have more little reminders to myself that this is kind of a film heavy day. I want to do at least two videos on Friday. And then Saturday is self-care Saturday. So this would be an opportunity to do like a blog post or um, an Instagram post. Instagram has really always been my platform, although blogging is something I want to expand way more into doing. So these are just how I've set this up. And then I want to upload my Faithful Girl journaling video, um, which is a lot of fun to do. So that is whoa, my new my new planning program. This is what I've been doing. I would say, well, you saw the calendar pages. I've been doing it at least since August. I want to say I started in July, but um, we'll just say August. So that's how long I've been doing it. it. I have personally loved doing things this way. I feel like starting here and like getting it all down, like a, this is almost like a, an organized brain dump and then assigning myself so as an example, because I've, you know, assigned myself certain themes to the day or certain tasks that are already in place, this is where I would, you know, kind of write those things out. And then I would pick like, which day does it make the most sense to spend my time, you know, answering emails, busting out texts, getting all those phone calls done. If I could do them all together, what day does it make sense? When do I have the most energy during the week? When do I have the least, um, like filming? Cause to me, filming is like extroverting. It's a lot of outgoing energy. So being mindful of those things, should I pick a different day where I'm kind of like not doing as much of that so that I have the energy to do this? It's think it's being intentional with my time and how I think about like how each day has a feel. Monday has a feel, doesn't it? Tuesday has Tuesday has a less feel to me. Um, Wednesday has a feel and Friday has a feel. I'm ready for fun on Friday. I feel like really amped up. And, and I think that's why I decided like I will have the most energy and the enthusiasm for filming on Friday. So it's probably a day I might pick some of my self care, you know, tasks to do getting my nails done. So I'm all ready for filming my website blog work. That might be something like, I just want to get, you know, that might be a good day to do on Tuesday or Monday. So this is the, this is the new way I'm kind of thinking about things as I start with a list. These are the things you got, there's just stuff you have to get done. And rather than just be faced with the calendar and then just kind of writing down my tasks all over the calendar, I thought, why don't I just write the tasks all so that I can see them and then make mindful decisions about how to achieve those tasks. And looking at my day, and obviously I'm going to be writing my um, appointments down, time-specific things that I have to do. That also helps me decide, you know, what is a good day. When I start seeing a light day and then I have to make an appointment, that's the day I'm going to pick to make the appointment. That's the day I'll pick to get my phone calls done. When I start seeing, you know, you have a lot, um, you have an easy, easier day this day. So that's, that's, how, I'm going to, that's how I've been thinking of it. And I have to say this has been um, probably one of the most successful planning styles I've ever done. I've been so happy with this. Another, another thing about this planning 
this type of planning that I've been doing is it has allowed me to utilize my other planners um, this way. So just as an example, so my self-care. So when I assign myself some time here, like to do my self-care challenges, or I assign myself the task of like, you need to spend an hour doing a self, you know, spending time doing self-care. So I might write like, it's time to do some reading. It's time to spend time in your self-care planner. That will be a date that I make with myself. Um, I have this cute little sheet of planner stickers that I love, and most of them, they're like the colors of the actual planners I own, and I didn't even intentionally plan that. But I have a little bitty light blue planner, just like this one. And so as an example, this is how I use my planner team in this, this is I will say, um, because self-care is an important initiative for me right now, um, I would make myself a, a task for, um, you know, planner time. And my planner time, I'm going to pick... I'm probably, to me, Friday is always like, it feels like such a fun free day. Um, Saturday is also has a lot of freedom built into it. So I'm going to put this down for my Saturday because I already have self-care Saturday down. Is I'm going to say, this is my planner time. So now I know that I have a date for myself and, and I can write a time next to it um, when I'm going to actually do that. Uh, Although I probably won't on a Saturday. I probably wouldn't be very time specific with myself. But I'm going to say that that's an actual to do is spend time, you know, in your blue planner. So Saturday comes around and I'm like, hey, I'm it, from noon to one, I'm just going to play in my planner. So I'm going to bust out my self care planner. I'm going to add some more um, pages to it, the fun things that I've been doing in here that are all about me. They're all about like taking care of myself. Um, I added some pages like just, just sketching out what I thought would be a good morning routine, a good evening routine. I have a lot of blank pages in here just to add my little thoughts, self-care routine. Um, put lots of little images that are just nice little reminders. Um, minimalism is something I'm really focusing on for self-care. So I've built this to be this very robust resource, a tool to help me in my self-care goals. So when I tell myself it's planner time, this tells me to go grab this for an hour, two hours, whatever time I've allotted myself and go spend time there. It's the same thing with God time. God time is really my beautiful pink planner. If I wanted to use my fun little stickers, it's just a reminder to me to go grab my little grace planner because it's time to spend time in her. And this is the fun thing about having <laughs> stickers <laughs> is like a little puzzle. So if I wanted to, I could make a little pink planner for every morning if I, and now that I'm looking at how cute that is, I'm probably going to want to. Um, so those are the kinds of, that's the kind of style that I've been doing using my ring bound planners and incorporating them with this. So you can see why this is kind of my boss planner. It bosses everyone else around. They all sit on a shelf and wait for me to assign myself time or, um, and, and I'm not saying I'm always like super strict about it. This isn't like, uh, th this has flexibility in it, but I'm, if I'm trying to be intentional and mindful, which has been intentional has been my word for this year. This, to me, has been the most successful way of reminding myself, hey, you know, don't just wander around aimlessly when you have some time off. You know, pick something that's actually good for you. And my planner, my little self-care planner, is a really important tool for me. I have, I think, five or six different planners that I've given a task to, given them a job. So this is how I would assign them time. And that way I can rotate and make sure I use like kind of all my planners. Like it's Thursday. Let's put down my little, um, I'm just going to put this one down because I know, and I love check boxes. So I'm going to make my own there 
and I'm just gonna say it's um, my my miracle morning. So I have a planner that's dedicated to the miracle morning routine. So I might do my God time first and then swap, switch over to miracle morning. And that's my little marigold planner um, to remind myself because that's where it is. It's yellow for the sunshine. So that has been my little process for working out my week. And I, I can't say enough good things about it. It's just been really helpful. So this whole first part of the, you know, my planner has been my, um, my planning sheets and then these little, these brain dump sheets that I just threw in there. And then, um, this divide, I've made regular dividers that I make for my, all my planners. I made them for this as well. This is actually a magazine. I, I trimmed it out of a magazine and added it to, to the divider. I just thought it was really pretty. This whole section is all about social media. Um, these are like, uh, this is all about hashtags, this whole work, uh, with like a free workbook. And then I went on Pinterest and found a bunch of other resources for hashtags. Um, this is all about doing blogging um, and how you batch your tasks together, how you make a checklist and put content together ahead of time. This is one of the best workbooks I've ever found on Pinterest. It's, it is crazy awesome. It is all time management strategies for using social media and prepping for like blogging, which, you know, I've read blogs from the beginning of blogging, like when everybody was on live journal, I just have never taken the time to really master it. Um, this one is done by inner social medianess.com. I love this. And it's, it was a free workbook and it's like very robust. So I put that in here as a tool. So that might be something that I assign myself as a task. You know, I mentioned before about spending time doing social media related things. And that's like, you need to spend two hours this week dipping into your social media strategies, your social media resources. And so I would assign that to myself. You have this to do. So that's why I keep it all in here is this is so important to me that it's like that handy. It stays with my planner. And then in the back here, I have a couple, um, this is all about copywriting um, and working on building a sales page. Like if you were launching a product like I plan to, then this is uh, another tool and that came from the rulebreakersclub.com. So if you're kind of um, figuring things out, which just happens to a lot of people who end up with their own business and maybe they intended to or didn't intend to, but it is like a, it's a learning curve. So this whole thing has become a really important resource to me and trying to kind of follow and, and be really mindful of that has been an important part of building good habits <laughs> because it, it's very difficult to go from working a nine to five corporate job where, you know, and, and having done that for, you know, 20 plus years and then kind of being in charge of your own time. A lot of people would think, oh my gosh, that must be awesome. And there is awesome things about it, but it takes a whole new, it's a learning curve to know how to utilize time differently when you control it. And I'm not a good controller of time. Not that we have control of time, but I'm just not good at using my time. You know, it's like money and how you spend it. You only get so much of it. And so I, I was finding myself not, um, not as effective with discipline and, and having habits. And so I've really been trying to make that part of, you know, my new reset journey is really focusing on stuff like that. So all that is to say, this is the, the new planning regime that I have now. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and get this decorated because I still love a decorated planner. Um, it just will look a little different than the things that I've done in the past. I kind of not sure um, how much of this I'm going to fill out on camera only because I need to think through some things and I kind of wanted this to feel more creative and decoratingly too. I didn't want it to just be like, you're watching me, you know, just write stuff out. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go ahead and just get started and just start decorating. And, and I don't even know where I'm going with this because I haven't decorated 
the page um, the way I plan to today. I've I've got I've got everything, girls. I pulled out so I have I have stickers from the new um, Grateful Heart car, uh, kit. So I have stickers from that. I have no idea if I'll use them. I have watercolors, and then I have like this little box. So I use the planner boxes that the Carpe Diem planners come in. I use them to organize my materials. So this is the entire So Cozy kit. All of the kits from So Cozy are in here. The sticker kit, the planner kit, the listers kit, the crafty girl kit, all in here. Um, so it's really easy to just grab it and decorate with. Same thing here. I have Grateful Heart in this one. And then this is a, this fun little mishmash. I went shopping through all of my stuff and, and picked out things that I have purchased more recently or played with um, at the workshop I was at two weekends ago in Wisconsin. I got to hang out with my friend Shauna from Illustrated Faith. And so um, that was really fun. And I learned some new techniques and I bought some new stuff, including this super fun stamp. Oh, isn't that awesome? I love, I love this type of stuff so much, just adding those random pieces. Um, this is actually a little card that we designed. It's, it's meant to look vintage, like those little vintage flashcards they used to have back in the day. So I figured like I might find a way to utilize that. I might, I have my cute little, um, little mini calendar stickers. These are from the Reset Girl line. Reset Girl word strip stickers. Um, these are some Faith Bay Citrus Twist stickers. These are the fun little whimsy, whimsy arrows and banners from the Reset Girl shop. This is the TN sheet, uh, sticker sheet of them. Probably my favorite stickers of all the ones I have are just these fun, they're so, they are, they're so whimsical. Um, then I have uh, journaling stickers. Um, so I just threw a bunch of kind of like random -y stuff in here and just thought, let's see where I go. Um, if you watched my die cut and ephemera storage video, you are familiar with these little bags. And this is like an example of like, I just saw these sitting in there and thought, oh my gosh, these are fun. You know, I haven't pulled any of these out in a long time. So I, I might just toss these into my little buffet um which is getting really full i've been like shoving a lot of die cuts in it so but i might just throw these in here too just to have something extra to play with and what else do i got going here and then i i opened up a brand new pack of the reset girl die cuts the simple stories reset girl collab die cuts which are so fun like share your gifts with the world i had so much fun um coming up with the phrases for these um, so that would be another thing. And then I have another little paint palette. So Prima Marketing has these little kits, these little watercolor kits. And there's, I think I have like three of them. So I just pulled a bunch of colors from all the different palettes and like squeezed them in here. The ones that I thought I might like. So some I've tried, some I haven't. So with all of these materials, we shall see what happens. Um, I, th I just thought I'm going to try maybe watercoloring in my planner this time. And here's a bunch of more. I, I threw this together when I went traveling and so it's just a bunch of um, kind of randomness. So I thought I'm just gonna throw that on my desk <laughs> and see if anything catches my eye. So I'm just gonna have fun doing this. I have, this is, um, although Mr. Crafty is sitting here with me, so I usually don't have an audience. <laughs> So it kind of makes me a little nervous, but, um, ah, yummy. Um, and I don't know, I haven't done this in a long time, so this will be interesting to see. So I don't know what's going to happen. I might speed up this part of the tape, might not tape. That was such a Gen X thing to say. <laughs> Back in the day when we had VHS tapes, um, I might speed up the film on this one. So I just... I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to get started in getting my pages pretty. So let's get started.
Okay, so I snapped off the camera for a few minutes because I needed to go do a task. And before I turned it back on, I started filling out my monthly goal sheet. And what else did I do? I think I may have added a couple little places where I added some more little detail. I love the little plus signs. They're like my, my favorite thing to add to every page. <laughs> I don't know why. I just love them. They are a really big part of like, um, the, the TRG, uh, Carpe Diem collection, they're all throughout there. I add them to my pages. They're just like my little signature thing. So I think that is what I worked on before I turn the camera back on. So I have my little goals set up here. I also was going through my little sticker stash and I made a decision. So my, um, goal, my habit for the month is going to be doing God time every day. I was really good about doing my God time every single day as part of my routine until I went traveling and this always seems to happen. Every time I break my routine in some way, and in this case I was gone for maybe I think like four to five days, it always feels like the habit gets broken during that traveling time and then when I come back it takes a while to pick it up again. So now I'm going to be disciplined with myself that I will be doing God time every day. And I happen to have these awesome stickers that I love. These are like uh, little reminder stickers uh, with a little Bible on them. So you could use these in your planner for Bible study. Um, if you go to, you have any kind of church event that you're attending, whether it's like a woman's Bible study in your church, um, Sunday school, going to church, uh, reminding yourself to do your prayer time. That's what these are for. And then we have these little icon stickers here on the edge of the page. And these are going to make the perfect little fill in these little circles. So I did not do my God time yesterday. <laughs> I'm just being completely honest, but I'm going to double up today so I can put that sticker down on there. And I want to earn this legitimately. I don't want to just put stickers down because they're pretty. I really, uh, this, this is so enticing to me to get them, these all filled in that that's why I want to use them this way. Cause I want to see all the little fun little colors as part of this page, whatever you have to do ladies to make that habit a habit, whatever it is, even if it's as silly as like, I want to put stickers down. <laughs> I want to make sure the little holes are filled in. I mean, that's, I think that's kind of part of our little brains, how they work, why we are, tend to be um, kind of neurotic in our planning is it's that kind of stuff. It's why we like the way the paper feels or using a certain pen. There's just certain things that you just enjoy about, you know, the analog experience of paper and all of that. So for me, it's seeing these little circles filled in. So I am going to put down a circle for yesterday, mostly just to show you how cute the beginning of this is going to be. Um, but I'm going to earn that spot by doing spending twice as long today. So <clears throat> that's what it will look like. So these will all be filled in with little stickers. So that is my goal for this for my month. And these are available in the three set girl shop. I will link that below in the little notes section for you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pop them into this little pocket here. So they are handy and, um, what else? What else? What else? Okay. So I have my home goals that I put down. I'm going to get back into having my cleaning routine um, that me and Mr. Crafty were really good about doing. Um, I was really also really good about keeping my Sunday all about just like Sabbath, you know, no working, no working on business, no, no doing anything reset girl related, just, um, focused on watching my YouTube sermons, uh, doing my note taking, all that fun stuff. But the but I broke with that last week, um, getting caught up from traveling again. So I need to get back to that meal prep day. Oh my gosh, do I love meal prep? I love chopping all my vegetables. You know, getting everything ready, all bagged up for the week. Um, I used to do that really religiously, and I have not done it um, that way in months. So I want to get back to that because that way we will be eating healthier and not running out and getting last minute food or eating things out of a bag. Like um, we got on this, <laughs> we became obsessed with Trader Joe's and their frozen, um, they have a lot, like a, fr a lot of frozen entrees that come in bags. <laughs> so we've been eating out of bags a lot, but they have the most amazing Kung Pao chicken. It is better than takeout. 
So, but I want to get out of that cycle and eating fresh. I actually really want to launch something like doing whole 30. Um, I know it's not, it wouldn't be necessarily fun or easy. And this is probably like the worst time of the year to do it, <laughs> but I need to do something. So I want to at least start the habit of doing meal prep day every week. Um, I need to start Christmas planning, um, Thanksgiving with my parents this month. Uh, I need to work on the donations that I have in my garage that need to go out. And then my garage needs to be cleaned, organized. Um, we have some further downsizing to do. And I want to, this is kind of, is it sell or is it work? Um, I need to sell all the planners, all my planner collection. I have made a commitment. I'm completely, totally smitten with the Carpe Diem planners. I love these things. They, the quality of them is awesome. Um, the colors are beautiful. They're just a really nice planner. They're budget friendly in my opinion. Um, I, I've just been so happy with them. The new construction of this, the tw you know, the 2016 planners. I just love them to pieces. So I have made the decision that I'm going to sell all of my planners. Um, my other ring bound planners that I have not been using, uh, some traveler's notebooks. So I'm selling them off and as well as probably doing some really big like grab boxes that are full of craft supplies <laughs> because as um, a lot of you know, I have de-stashed like the Dickens. I probably have, oh boy, like six big, and I, when I say big bins, I'm talking about big bins full of stuff um, that I want to get rid of. A lot of it's going to probably go, I need to find out like a local after school program or something, um, or there's a couple areas in my, there's a couple programs in my area that help like disadvantaged kids. And I would love to give them some of the stickers and paints and some of the stuff that I have are like legit art supplies. Um, that would be awesome. Ooh, and that reminds me, um, see, I'm kind of, hmm. Part of this is work and part of it is not. Okay, send art. And I told you before I was going to write right over my, um, anything I put here, I'm writing right over it, just like it's not even there. So there's a little reminder to myself. Donations and then um, cell planners. Uh, health, I'm doing three 10 minute walks a day. Um, we have a really beautiful neighborhood right out that window. It has a perfect, like go straight down the street, make a little left, you go around the block and back, and that is a nice 10 minute walk. Three times a day, that's at least some kind of movement because it is really easy to sit in front of your computer all day. And I really want to, um, I want to squeeze every little minute out of fall I can. I have the most gorgeous tree outside um, to look at, so. I would like to continue getting out there. Um, beauty night routine. So I want to keep up my beauty night routine. And I think this is the month I'm going to join. There's a ladies gym that I used to belong to. I think this is the month I'm going to join. I need to do something. Um, I really, really do. Uh, so there's my new habit, God time every day. Like I mentioned, I'll be putting all the stickers in here. So I am pretty much done. If I think of anything health, work, or home related, I will just fill in this side of the page, as you can see here. This is pretty ambitious. Uh, you know, I can always use this as sort of like this monthly, like master task list. It doesn't necessarily have to be like this goals, you know, like it's so, sometimes that's kind of a, kind of a scary word. Maybe it's monthly tasks. <laughs> um, but either way, as I think of more things and not like in this pressure moment of trying to fill this in on camera, I will, um, I will just put it here. So that is that for this page. And I, I'm, I really love how this turned out. I really wanted to experiment with the, um, with the watercolors and the blotch, the little blotchy method that I learned how to do last week. So, um, this is a lot of fun. This is really actually more my style. I, I love messiness and kind of a little bit of chaos in my planning. Um, so I might continue that. However, I'm also cognizant of um, too much uh, rippling in a page too. 
This is 32 pound paper, which is like my favorite. I've used 32 pound paper for two years now in um, my writing projects, anything I'm writing on. Paper is just so luxurious, it's so awesome. But it handled that watercolor like a champ. You can see on this side, it is just ever so slightly kind of wrinkled. This does not bother me in the least. I know a lot of women um, are particular about things that could bother you. It doesn't bother me. Um, if you are someone who enjoys mixed media, you are the kind of girl that wrinkled pages are like, bring it on, give me more. So I love that. To me, I've never done anything like this crazy in my <laughs> planner. And I've never had a full size monthly goals or monthly layout like this ever in this. This is my first time doing this broad, like huge real estate. So I like it. This is going to be the longest video ever. I, I have a feeling now. I mean, I just did one page here. So you might have to watch this and <laughs> over a course of days. So let's see here. So this is the, the planner girl kit in grateful heart, which has the purple. I am not a fan of purple, but I have to tell you if um, I like any shade of purple, it's this shade of purple. It's kind of like really pretty, kind of like a lilac. I called it lavender earlier. I guess some would say it's lavender. I like the word lilac. It, it's lovely. There's actually two shades. There's kind of a deeper plum color like this wine here, um, little crock pot. So these are like the little fun um, sticker sheets. And I showed this in an earlier video on my channel uh, for this kit that is still available. And although these little boxes are sized perfectly for the Carpe Diem collection of planners inserts, um, I, and my own inserts, I personally don't have a problem just sticking them in here, whether they are a perfect fit or not. Um, so I have my little November calendar here that I was keeping before. I just write the, like the most simplest of reminders on here for myself. So I need to transfer these into this. Um, first things first, I need to set up the little numbers in here and what I'm going to be doing. So I have two places where I need to use my number stickers. In my weekly spread, these, these days need to be dated and then here they need to be dated. So this sticker kit comes with two um, dated stickers. These are for the monthly squares and these are for the weekly ones. But because this one is so much bigger than the littles, I might, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll break breaks or not. Maybe I will just continue doing it the way it was intended. So let me see here. So my Tuesdays would be this. Ooh, you know what I just realized? I just realized that I have this So Cozy kit right here that also has stickers for fall. Aren't those so cute? Little mugs. I think I'm going to use those. Um, but I think I might have a sticker sheet with these numbered. Maybe I do. Let's see here. Maybe I don't. I thought that I would have them. These uh, kits are also available. So I have this style of numbered sheet. This is from the Listers Got a List um, sticker collection. These are also still available. It's just, it's also fall related. It just has a different fall palette. Um, these are probably one of my favorite stickers in the whole collection were the little Sweta patterns. I'm going to leave those out too. So, hmm. Oh, I just realized, yes, there is a TN sheet that were for the prompts for October. I'm going to steal the little coffee mugs off of there. I'm in business. Okay. Back to the program. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use these little acorns. Hmm, which one do I want to do? You know what? I'm gonna use I'm gonna I'm gonna use the acorns here on my weekly spreads, and then I'm gonna use the little bitty coffee mugs on the monthly. That is what I'm gonna do. So tomorrow is Tuesday the second. 
Thursday the 3rd, Friday the 4th, Saturday the 5th. Boy, you are so cognizant of time passing so quickly when you are a planner girl. It just, it just goes so fast. And then of course, in this interesting paradox, it, time goes faster the older you get. <laughs> it's, it, it's so funny. When you're younger, it just seems like I have all the time in the world. I have years ahead of me, you know? And then as soon as those years start creeping up, all of a sudden time just starts speeding up so fast. Sunday the 13th. Doing, I'm just doing the whole month. I'm getting it all set up. And I am really happy I'm doing this. I For October, you saw earlier how I had set up the whole month, and then I kind of started getting... It's really weird. And you know what? I know it's it's not just me. There are lots of people that do that. They get they get their planners set up and then as soon as life gets really crazy, changes, gets so busy that you are overwhelmed, sometimes you just stop using your planner. Some women could not live without, you know, checking their planner, using their planner every day. I totally get that. Um I I have this weird back and forth relationship with it. Sometimes I will just, all I'm doing is the same thing or so busy doing something that, okay, so I'm stopping at reminding myself that 30 is the last, even though there's 31. I make sure to do 31 numbered stickers for everything I do because I don't want to assume that this person who buys this is using it in November. It is possible that they want to use it in a different month. If they feel like using this in December, I do not want to. Um, cheat them out of that 31. So I've just found it's easier just to stick with the 31 stickers. So there I've got all my little acorns all set up for the weekly. And now I'm going to go back to my monthly and I'm going to get these little stickers set up. Which this is, this is probably, you guys are probably going to fast forward this part of the video because my gosh. Okay, so Tuesday is the first. And these are going to be a little harder because they've got these little, <laughs> trying to get them off. How cute are these little stickers? I love this. Three, four. And this is a Monday start for the month calendar, which is nice because I can keep my weekends together. Seven. Actually, I think I'm going to do that lower. Maybe if I can get it off. There we go. Okay. It's actually easier to aim for the second little line. My monthly squares that I have in my, um, both of my, both my A5 and my letter size have lines so that you can write little reminders to yourself. I just like somehow having like a blank spot just always intimidates me or I don't know what it is. I don't think intimidation is the right word. It just kind of, it, it's all that white space. I like lines because I know I can write things in a little sequential order. It won't be messy. Now this is going to be nice to have this all this real estate and have so much space in each of my monthly squares. 
One thing I would really like to do is make sure something is amiss here. Did I do something wrong? Ah, oh, that is what happened. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. That is hilarious. I was so not paying attention. I was so busy talking that I started dating the little note section. And I'm sure as you were watching, you're like, stop, stop, Corey, stop. <laughs> and you know what? I am not even going to edit that out. I am keeping that in because that is just, that's the truth. And the only reason why that even occurred to me that I had these dated wrong is because I remember that um, the 30th actually landed on a different date when I was doing it in here. And that's my mom's birthday. So I know that date's kind of important. I'm like, how did it go from being a Thursday to a Monday? <laughs> but you know what, girls? I'm just keeping it real. That's the kind of stuff I do all the time. Is I do not pay attention sometimes. And I'm like getting things off. Oh, you know what? Oh, never mind. I am doing it right. Okay, so I just needed to to move that. Okay, so there's the new date. So all of these have to be moved because of that little snafu. I have not filmed myself doing anything like this in a long time, so I'm so busy talking and thinking about what I'm gonna say that I'm not paying attention. Okay, so we all had a little laugh, ha ha ha. And we can get back to our regular scheduled program. Ugh. Here, I'm going to, oh, I love that sound. It is so satisfying to pull the pages out of this planner and then pop them right back in. It's really funny how I did not love the ring, the discbound planner. And I'm very particular about my discbound planner. I'm not a fan of um, the plastic rings. I like, I like things to be very, um, like solid in, in, in the construction and these metal rings and the solid covers. I really like the Martha Stewart, um, format that she has. It just, it feels like these are almost like a coil bound. You kind of forget. That's what I'm looking for is the coil bound feel, but the convenience of being able to customize and move your papers around. Okay. So this will just speak to the testimony. This is just testimony here to our stickers and how they are actual. You can remove them and move them if you um, need to. And you just push the little papers back, the paper back, and it just kind of uh, conforms around the little discs again. Get, they're like, I feel like they're like little arms hugging the discs. That's how I always think of them. <laughs> okay, now I got my little cups out again. Take two, <laughs> 13, 14, and then we're gonna do 15. And then I'm gonna double check myself just to make sure that I'm not gonna pull that off again. Okay, so Tuesday the 15th. Okay, we're all good. 16, 17. Level 14 here is quite crooked. There we go, okay. These little mugs are just adorable. They're probably my favorite numbered sticker that we've done to date. 20, okay. There we go. And now 21, 22. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm just imagining you guys at home watching me do this going, oh my gosh, somebody warn her. <laughs> uh, but it's okay, you guys. See, it, that should just tell you everybody makes mistakes. We get so hung up on perfection and everything that I just, I make the dumbest mistakes all the time. Please tell me I just did not do that same mistake over again. Let me make sure. For some reason, I thought it was, it ended on, nope, it ends on a Wednesday. Okay. Okay, we've come back from our mistake. Um, what do I want to do? Let's see here. Let 
Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to pick the celebrate reminder Oop, banner here. I was kind of thinking I would do some watercolory effect on this page, but now I'm not sure if I want to. Um, it was fun doing it here. I suppose, you know what? I'm going to do a couple little blotches, maybe kind of towards the bottom here. Maybe I'll just do that. It's fun to do, and here, I, wanna, I create a lot of chaos for myself when I don't put stuff back in the pile it belongs in. And this is really fun. I like to have a serious pile of stuff going on, and I have not done that in full ever. So this is, I actually love this. Um, just pulling everything out and just, like, We'll go into town. This video, just you know, making the decision that I'm gonna do a plan with me video. Everyone does plan with me videos. I never do them anymore. I stopped doing them back in April. And I think part of it is I've just had a very frenetic way of doing my planning for like the last six months. And then when I finally got to this point where I was using this to plan in, I just, um, I don't know. I kind of just slapped all the stickers in one day and then didn't really consider it like a plan with me opportunity, but but you know what? This is a really cool planner. This has been working beautifully for me. It could work for you. Um, so I want to start showing like, this is what I use. This is, uh, you know, this is what works for me. I'm doing much better uh, with my life <laughs> uh, because I've made a lot of, um, I don't know, decisions, I guess you would say, and uh, how I'm going to be you know, managing my time, my life, and it's been working. It's a struggle though. I'm not naturally gifted with this kind of stuff, I have to say. So it's very ironic how much I love the idea of planning. <laughs> I'm just not necessarily awesome at uh, executing it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some water. Okay, we're back. And I do not have a proper water dish right now, so I'm literally just kind of dump some water in my, the little lid of my thing here, my palette. Okay, so I'm a really big fan of the kind of like sunset yellows and pinks. It's probably like my favorite little color combo, so just stick with what works. <laughs> 